So, uh, doing some arenas here. I will say, for the arenas, this is a pretty good weapon. <laughs> the best weapon though, mini turrets. Yes. And that, well, actually, the mini turrets, another sort of, kind of a non-problem, but the mini turrets did, were a bit overpowered. They were amazing in every situation. Yeah, we had to severely limit the amount of mini turrets you can carry. Yeah. You can only carry like five after an upgrade. But yeah, after you beat this, it comes you straight into the actual Straight on a bridge, and there's two electrolyzer puzzles on the bridge. One of the one of the rules of Ratchet gameplay was when you get a gadget, it teaches you how to use it right away. Man, this level is so hard. There's so much going on in this area. In the background, you got all the guys. We were putting so many characters on screen. Yeah. We yeah. have all the flame effects and these fans. And this is a pretty tough first arena battle too. Like, uh, like nowadays, we'd probably you know, start with no hazards, just killing guys, and then the next fight would have hazards. Yeah, I mean, we drop you right in, and you got it. You got to handle everything. Well, we 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 were uh, uh, like we had to show people why arenas were cool and different. Yeah. Uh, because we'd never done them in the magic game before. Now, I'm not going to claim that we were the first people to ever do arena battles. <laughs> Although I do like to think it, it uh, inspired Ratchet Deadlock. <laughs> the greatest the greatest of all of the Ratchets, right? You've earned an electrolyzer. If you want to exit the arena? No, I want to keep fighting bolts because I'm going to buy the Blitz gun. That's what I'm going to go for. All right, do it. Hazard challenge, yeah. chain blade challenge. Let's go straight for chain blade. You're going with chain blade right away, huh? I think I got it. I think I got this guy. Oh, dude, look, raise the roof. Oh, dude, there's another thing I learned at Insomniac, is uh, when in doubt, put rocket feet on it. <laughs> uh, you know, like if you're making a sci-fi game, no matter what, just have a bone down there uh, on, the, on the bottom of the foot, even if you don't think you'll need it. Dude, this is a pretty good boss. I'm liking this guy. I didn't make this guy, by the way. That's props to Max. Yep, yep. I think, I think it was, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. He did all, everything about these arenas. Every, yep. It was his whole, uh, his whole shtick. Actually, you got ammo crates? Come on, let's give me some more chocolate. Man, you know what? I'm, I'm really missing Clank right about now. Yeah. I don't was, have my long was... jump. I don't have my high jump. Well, we, we could have gone to uh, uh, Megapolis, but we didn't. We decided to uh, stick it out here. Just take advantage of the, the reticle, dude. Well, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this happen. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what's up. This, uh, these boss battles get a lot easier once you get the weapon mods, like the lock-on. Yeah, oh. well, Clank also, man. Just being able to run from guys is so difficult without Clank. Because you can't speed, yeah. You're, you're doing some pro fucking side flips and stuff, though. But now that I'm strafing. Oh, uh, I think when you strafe, it turns off the boss camera. No, it's still it's still sort of there. Mm -hmm. The boss cam was what we called it uh, when the boss became the central focus point for the camera. So, you see, as he's walking around here, it, it kind of tends to stay on chain blade. Although uh, I think it's not as strong of a boss cam as some of the later ones. Oh, I'm in trouble. much more you got just one. Oh. I think you tried too early for chain blade. I need clank. That's what I need. Do you wanna do you wanna let's let's put this off and go get clank? Uh how many bolts have I got for my bolts? Ten thousand? Yeah, no, I'm, not gonna, 000. I'm not gonna get the lancer. Or the blitz cannon. Oh and I think uh, uh, I think there's another cool weapon that unlocks in the level where we get clank. Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to be... I'm going to have to suck it up. Everybody's going to tell me I suck at Ration and Clank, which is not true. But I do really want to go get clank. Uh, so... So after this, you're going to... Do we have an option to quit these arena challenges? Don't don't, don't quit it. You're round three of five, man. Let's, let's get some chopper experience up in this. Up in this? To use the far lines of our time. That's right.
or as the kids say. I think that's probably a better way to say it. One of the interesting uh, challenges that may not be evident, and uh, you know, other programmers would probably sort of be impressed by this, but the uh, uh, these enemies don't have any kind of pathfinder knowledge about the world. Yeah, they're finding their way around actually this fairly complicated space with no like no knowledge that there's a band. There. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah, there's no A star. There's none of that going on here. It's yeah. just straight up. Walking around with the player. Uh, I think, enough. yeah, I think it's time to exit. It's so time to go get Clank. Okay, Electrolyzer. Electrolyzer, all right. So uh, that's me. Let's let's switch up here then. So I was the, the end. I was the only only designer on uh, uh, at Insomniac who did code. So I actually, in addition to designing and, and setting things up, actually uh, did a lot of programming, and this was one of mine. Oh, look at this. Adds quality right there, down the pipe. Yeah. So. Oh, this is, okay, yeah. I know what this is. All right, got these, it. These uh, were, these puzzles were, um, the, the, the actual design part of them was, was Mark Cerny. He designed how the puzzles would work and designed a progression of puzzles and stuff, and then I implemented them. Just uh, a reminder for me, those puzzles are actually huge things placed out in the world, right? Yeah. 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 The up, up, you know hundreds of meters in the sky are these gigantic like you know almost the size of maybe this whole space we're looking at right now uh and the camera just sort of teleports itself yeah. up there yeah it was uh not 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 my finest <laughs> uh bit of programming also huge pain in the ass to set those up uh just gigantic pain in the ass this would make a nice souvenir for uh, actually i think in um in the Insomniac Museum, there's a spot you can stand where you can see an electrolyzer puzzle okay. floating out in the distance. No idea what you're involved in. Return to your Dude, own Angela's kind of dark. No. The I'm sorry, the thief. The thief, the thief, thief is kind of dark here. For this will happen. It's so dark. Poor Clank. Oh, man. And, of course, you know... Uh, the players empathize with him because he's Clank. Right. How See, could you well, not? And this is another good, like, oh. Ratchet is saving Clank, and it, it, it right. makes him really, he's angry. He that, cares about Clank. Yeah, and yeah. that that was uh, uh, very deliberate because, again, they're trying to reverse the image that uh, Ratchet had in the first game of being kind of an asshole. Dude, that, uh, uh, that fly-in sequence, no joke. <laughs> that was not, uh, was not a simple thing. I still got it. Look at you. Yeah. First try. Yeah. No problem. That's almost like I made these. Love those bridges. We had a huge problem with uh, difficulty tuning on those electrolyzer puzzles. Uh, they were way too hard. And making them easier was really difficult because it was hard to figure out what about it was making it hard. And since they were so hard to wire up, it was just really nearly impossible to uh, tune them correctly. So one of the harder things in the game, we just ended up making, I think, all the critical path ones dirt simple and uh, moving from there. All so, right, I think we're at the end of the level. Yep. Um, on to the next level. On to the next level. <laughs>